to you. Uh, how was acting in front of the camera different from uh, what you thought about acting before you started acting? What did you think this world was like before you? Uh, I, uh, I think I was relatively aware because I spent a lot of time on movie sets with uh, my mom and also on um, Papa's film sets. But I don't think anything can really prepare you for being in front of the camera. But it's a beautiful feeling and uh, I keep uh, saying that when you create an honest moment in front of the camera when, as the character, when you live something, um, it's almost euphoric and I don't think anything can top that feeling for me. But uh, in terms of the effort it involves, uh, technique, because a lot of acting is also about physicality. Yeah. Was there something you, some experience or something you learned? I learned a lot. I learned, um, and I think that's why I love acting so much. It gives you the opportunity to learn things that you otherwise wouldn't have. For example, I don't think that if it wasn't for Tharak, I would never have gotten the opportunity to explore Rajasthani culture, um, to learn Mewari in whatever capacity I've learned it. Um, and so I'm very happy about that. I think that uh, I've been blessed with this opportunity. Um, and it's helped me explore new avenues of myself and of Indian culture. And I hope I can continue to do that. And I think I always knew because mom would always tell me that, um, you know, it, it's a lot of hard work. It's not easy. You need to be 100% dedicated and committed. It's a way of life. It's not just a job. Um, but I, I like feeling that way about it. I think that it's good to be so consumed by your passion for something. Beyond the clouds also, your acting was appreciated a lot. Uh, are you a dancer first or a dancer? Uh, well, as far as I can remember, I've been very passionate about both dancing and acting. Uh, and I think I've been uh, performing since uh, before I can remember. So, uh, I really can't say. Uh, I think the, the one uh, performing art form that I took training in first would be dancing. But uh, I really hold them both in very uh, high regard in my opinion. I think they're both amazing uh, art forms. And um, and I love them equally, I would say. Uh, how have you two been coping with these rigorous promotions that are happening? <laughs> um, it's been fun to actually meet new people and interact with them. I think the thing that both of us enjoy the most is when, you know, we do these mall visits and people come out and we see everyone's enthusiasm and love. And um, meeting with all of these people who um, are excited for the film, I think, I think we love that the most the energy we get for them and then we, when we get to dance for them. Um, but as far as uh, other stuff goes, I, I don't know. <laughs> because uh, I, don't, I don't think I really have much to say except that please come and watch the film on the 20th of July. Uh, but, okay. um, I mean, it's a lot of attention and uh, this is the most I've ever experienced in my life. And, uh, uh, I, you know, it's important to uh, keep your wits about yourself and go ahead because we are, we are the uh, faces of the film and we have to represent it correctly and uh, uh, so it's important to sort of, uh, you know, maintain that perspective but at the same time, I've been enjoying it. I've been really enjoying sharing the energies with, uh, with audiences and crowds. A lot of them uh, seem very excited to watch the film. Uh, there's a lot of anticipation. So uh, I'm excited, uh, and it's it's somehow it's really been a lot of fun because I have a great time working with Shashank and Jeremy in any case. We're kind of like family, so it's pretty enjoyable to travel around together and talk about our film. What was the last love story you both enjoyed in cinema? Sarah. Sarah. I mean, in terms of the last one, that uh, in terms of release, but I think that I've seen a few movies since, but they're older movies. Which ones? Um, I saw Mr. and Mrs. Pachpan. I saw, uh, yeah, I saw Vivian Vilam, but I saw that, uh, I saw that a while back. I saw, I re watched Notting Hill, which I think is a beautiful love story. And, um, yeah, there have been several movies. If I could, like, go back and think of every love story that I've watched recently, the list would go. What about you, Sam? I would say the same, I think. Uh, Sarah comes to mind. Uh, now that she's mentioned it, it's one of my uh, favorite films in recent times. And, uh, Did you watch it before you decided, to, before yes. you took up the hook or after? Well, uh, I, I watched it right after Shashank shared the prospect of making an adaptation of it.
And what was your initial, both of you, uh, what was your initial reaction when you saw that film? What, what, what was your, it's a very raw, edgy film and uh, is that the love story is told also very differently, so it's, it's noted for that. So what were your reactions or emotions? It's a very important film, I think, in terms of the story it's telling, but also the way that it was made. Um, and I think that's why it holds such a strong place in so many people's hearts. You know, we feel the same. It had a big impact on, I think, I can speak for the both of us when I say this, I think we were dumbfounded when we saw the film, and um, uh, we felt very invested in their love and the story that they were trying to, uh, trying to tell. So yeah, it was a it was a beautiful movie experience, and I think it um, exemplifies what cinema should be about. And everyone's done such a beautiful job in it. I'm a huge admirer of every actor, but especially what Rinku's done in the film. I think it's um, it's untouchable. It's so it's raw and it's honest, and it's um, I really think it's iconic what she's done. Well, I agree completely. I think it's a film that is uh, very relevant um, and. Uh, uh, I think there are two aspects to it. It's a, it's, it's a very simple and universal uh, love story, but at the same time, it's a very subjective film, uh, and it speaks of uh, uh, of a perspective that is very closely observed. It feels like, and uh, so I think it is a beautifully crafted film. But uh, besides, you know, all of these nice things to say about it, I think the the main thing that uh, moved me was just that it's an all-consuming love story. You know, it's just the simplicity of it is so beautiful. Um, and uh, besides that, it has something very important to say, and it's not done in a preachy manner. So I think it's it's, it's a wonderful film, and uh, the fact that it's done so well, I think, is uh, a thing of great pride for our country, because uh, I think stories like this deserve to be told. Uh, last question: What are you both looking forward to after 22? Uh, Once the film releases, then you guys, it's like free. What would you like to do? What's I would like to start working again. Yeah. I think that both of us are just, I think a holiday for us would be to be on a set again in front of the camera. Yeah.